Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour, our little hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. And today I have a review video for you. Okay guys, I really wanted to come through really quickly and do a review on the Morphe Mattifying Setting Spray because I love the original so much, which is the Continuous Setting Spray. It does a phenomenal job at setting your makeup and giving you the best glowy skin-like finish. Although I have oily skin, I still use the original without a problem. But when I found out they were going to have one that caters to oily skin, so it would mattify, I was all for it and almost ecstatic to see it. Because the continuous spray, let me show you this, the continuous um, setting spray, which is the original one, the black bottle, this one had really big shoes to fill, okay? Big shoes. I brought this several times. Um, the cost of it is 16 I think it's $16 or $16.50. And this one actually, this one actually costs the same, sixteen fifty. And I got this maybe about a week ago from Ulta.com. I ordered it because when I went to the store when it launched, it wasn't there, so I had to order it, which I did. And I want to read to you what it claims to do before I go ahead and review it. So it says here, this microfine mist sets liquid or powder uh, makeup to a smooth matte finish. A continuous air-powered spray delivers an even and controlled application with a refreshing scent. And the scent is, I love the scent. Just like the other one has a really nice soft scent, this one also does. Now, one of the best things about the Morphe um, Continuous Spray, which is, this is the original, aside from what it does, which is set your makeup, kind of melts all the powders together, is the pump. The pump on this is perfect. Because it is a continuous spray, if you guys can see here. It's a fine mist. Very fine. So that's why a lot of people like it. Because there are setting powders that are probably great. But because it distributes the product very unevenly, it kind of spits at you. You know, a lot of people may not like that. Where this one, it sprays perfect. The scent is very refreshing. And again, it sets the makeup really, really beautifully. So with this particular one... Um, me when I started using it the first time that I used it I knew that I hated it like I know hate is like a, a really strong word but I absolutely hated it for one when I spray the mist it feels heavy it feels like a layer of something is sitting on my face right so I spray it and I'm like I feel so heavy walk over to the mirror to look at it and literally I can see dots all over my face which is the liquid or whatever's in here is just kind of sitting on top of my face you know how most people have like a little slight peach fuzz kind of all over their face it's very fine hairs and you really don't notice it but when you spray this on it clings to those fine hairs and it kind of sits there it's like a little droplet of the fluid all over your face and when I first used this I had on a black shirt and girl my entire shirt had fine dots all over it and it kind of comes out the very first pump comes out like a gel almost there's like a drop of something on your face so that i didn't like i don't like to feel it you know what i mean i don't like to feel that heaviness on my face and a setting spray absolutely should not feel heavy it just didn't make any sense to me so you spray it you have these fine little dots everywhere, so you have to use something to kind of press that into the skin. So I used my um, my beauty sponge and kind of pressed it into the skin, and that film went away. However, it was still on my clothes, so I kind of had to wipe that off. A black shirt is a no-go. Anything black with that spray is a no-go. Absolutely not. So I had to wipe my shirt off, so I went on about my day. An hour or two, it seemed fine. Like, the oil was kind of you know barely there but that's an hour or two of having my makeup on a few more hours go by my face is just oily it didn't mattify anything and it felt heavy and sticky which I, I didn't like that not heavy and sticky it felt heavy and my face also felt a little tight which I don't I don't like that 
at all. <laughs> so at that point, I already knew she was going back to the store. And I kind of want to see if I can show you guys. I'm going to spray it on my hands. I don't want to spray it on my face. I'm bringing this right back to Alta. They can put it on that stupid shelf because this, well, not, I'm going to exchange it. I'm going to get the um, continuous spray because the one that I have is almost done anyway. So they can put this back on the little shelf that it came from. But let's try to, I want to try to spray it. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me show you in the pump. I don't know if you guys can see that little, whatever this is. You see how, how that dries up? Imagine a bunch of that on your face. Why would I want that, Morphe? Why would I, why would I want that? But let me pick this off. I guess because powder's in it. It's going to, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. But let's spray some on my arm. I just want to see if you can see. It smells so good. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, so I have hair on my arms, right? Do you see those little dots? Do you see how it just amplifies? Girl, that's how it kind of sits on the face, just like that. Really like, I don't know, it feels, it seems like hair gel almost. So you have to kind of like, press it into the skin you can't just let that sit there you have to press it into the skin and you have to wipe it off of your clothes because it's going to look like you have like you have dandruff it literally is going to look like you have dandruff if you don't dust it off of your clothes press it into your skin that doesn't make any sense like i shouldn't have to do all that for a setting spray the setting spray is the final step of my makeup where once i spray that i'm done i'm done why am I doing so much just to make a setting spray work? No. $16. She's going back. I'm going to get the um, continuous setting spray, the original, and I'm going to go about my merry life. So, this review wasn't the best, like, or the best outcome for me. The review for this product is out of five stars. I would actually give this a 1.5 because it smells so good everything beyond that no ah, nah. mm, nah. Morphe I wanted to love this so bad I actually went to Ulta the day it came out to get it, it wasn't there and I ordered it I was very excited I was rooting for you we were all rooting for you but you just did not, you didn't deliver. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, try again, take a break, try again. Because this is not the wave. This is not the wave. Mm -mm. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you were interested in getting this, I would suggest you don't. But you may wanna try it on your own to kinda of see if it has the same effect on you. For me, it was absolutely horrible. And if I say something is bad, I really think it's bad. Because a lot of times when I don't like something, I try it again. I use it in a different way, and it kind of works out. But this, it's actually, I'm actually going to take it back to the store. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Sorry. If you were thinking about getting it, you don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It sucks, though. I know that. <laughs> this sucks.